I'll be speaking on dogged decision to follow. Dogged decision to follow. Now, your decision to follow Jesus must be dogged. You must be willing to follow him whether it is easy or not. When I say, when I say dogged decision, that means a kind of rugged decision. That decision that nothing can shake. That decision that cannot be affected by things happening around. You must reach that point where you can say that whether things go the way you want or not, you will still follow. When you reach this point, then the devil will begin to lose his grip over your life. The reason the the devil afflicts people is so that they can stop following Jesus. So the day you confess that nothing can make you stop following Jesus, that day the devil loses his grip over your life. So, because the devil wants to discourage you from following Jesus, as a student, he can delay your admission. And as somebody that is matured enough to get married, he can delay your marriage. He can even delay your appointments. And so on, just to make you stop following Jesus. But the moment he sees that you are not ready to let go of Jesus, then he will let go of you. Yes. Now, if the devil is afflicting you because he wants you to stop following Jesus, imagine somebody that has been trusting God for a job for a long time and he has not gotten the job. And he just stood one day and shouted, I will follow Jesus. No matter what happens, I will follow Jesus. Imagine a family that has been trusting the Lord for child for so many years, maybe more than 20 years of marriage. And they stood their ground one day and said, Jesus, no matter what happens, we will follow you. We will not go back. That declaration they have made that day has destroyed the devil's grip over their life. Because the devil is afflicting them in order to bring them to a point where they can say no to Jesus. But now, it it seems to be that even what the devil thought will make them stop following Jesus is now a catalyst to boost their faith. So the moment the devil sees that what he is doing to you is not enough to make you stop believing in God. He loses his grip. His dominion, that, that power will be taken away. So I want you to be wise to ensure that you confess positive things even when what is happening to you is not, it is not what you want. You may be trusting God for something and you are not getting it. Don't Speak against God. If you are speaking against God because things are not going the way you want, you are encouraging the devil to continue. How to stop the devil is to make a confession against the devil. Even in the midst of storm, when you take your stand for Jesus, the devil loses his stand. Look at the, 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 the three Hebrew men. They said, Even if our God will not deliver us from you, O king, we are ready to die. And the moment they made that, de- that decision, the fire loses effect. May the Lord help us in the name of Jesus. This is the wisdom of God. Don't sell it. 